if you want to see just how many people only read a title before they go and leave a comment, check out the comments under Red Hat to Stop Shipping LibreOffice in Future Releases of RHEL, which is a technically accurate title, but a little bit misleading. And if this is the only thing you read, it might send you into an angry frenzy. But it's not as bad as it sounds. So, this is a post on the Fedora mailing list by Matthias Klassen, LibreOffice Packages. So, recently the LibreOffice Packages were orphaned. Basically, they had no maintainer, and this included the dependencies which only existed because of LibreOffice. This was done without really much announcement, so this was an attempt to explain what's going on. The Red Hat Display Systems team, the team behind most of Red Hat's desktop efforts, has maintained the LibreOffice packages in Fedora for years as part of our work to support LibreOffice for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. We are adjusting our engineering priorities for RHEL for workstations and focusing on gaps in Wayland, building out HDR support, building out what's needed for color sensitive work, and a host of other refinements required by workstation users. Recently, Red Hat held the Red Hat HDR Hackfest. I did a video on this, it went quite positively, and there was a lot of really useful discussion that came out of that that affects more than just RHEL, Fedora, and GNOME. There was improvements happening on KDE, on WR Roots, and this is something that's going to generally improve everything going on on the Linux desktop. Unlike some people are claiming, this is not about dealing with regressions in Wayland. You cannot do color sensitive work on Linux. There are some hacky workarounds to get some things to maybe work a little bit properly on X11, but you simply cannot do HDR work. That's just not going to happen. This is work that will improve the workstation experience for Fedora as well as RHEL users, and which we hope will be positively received by the entire Linux community. Well, um, that hasn't gone super well because of some of the weird reporting around this. The trade-off is that we are pivoting away from work we had been doing on desktop applications and will cease shipping LibreOffice as part of RHEL in a future RHEL version. This also limits our ability to maintain it in future versions of Fedora. Now, I can't truly speak on what's happening internally in the company, but considering the recent firings a couple of months ago, and obviously there's going to be some restructurings from that, it doesn't surprise me that they're readjusting where they want to spend their efforts. Also, there was only really two contributors at Red Hat actually working on LibreOffice, and one of those people left the company, now they're working over at Collabora. So you lose not only one of the two major contributors, you lose the main contributor of the two major contributors. Now, it's not like this guy is going to Collabora to work on something else. He literally helped to found the Document Foundation and has been handling security patches and CVs and things like that in LibreOffice for a very long time. At Collabora, he's going to be doing a lot of the same things, just basically under a different banner. So it's not like they're losing a major contributor, it's just doing it with a different company. Now, one thing Red Hat is fairly good at is keeping support going as they are deprecating something. So it's not like this is going away like next week or something. We will continue to maintain LibreOffice in currently supported versions of RHEL, RHEL 7, 8, and 9, with needed CVEs and similar for the lifetime of those releases, as published on the Red Hat website. This will include security patches and backporting them and things like that. But it's not like when the RPM goes away, all of this engineering effort just disappears and Red Hat will never be involved in LibreOffice again. The engineers doing that work will contribute some fixes upstream to ensure LibreOffice works better as a flat pack, which we expect to be the way that most people consume LibreOffice in the long term. So if you don't know, the LibreOffice flat pack is the official flat pack from the LibreOffice team. This is something the LibreOffice team develops themselves as an official way to install LibreOffice. This is a really old picture that they should probably update though. The other thing is it's not like everything just has to go away. 
what's happening is Red Hat isn't going to maintain it themselves. So if the community wants to take it over, they are more than free to do so. But be aware that this is a sizable block of packages and dependencies and a significant amount of work to keep up with. But one user said, hey, I've taken ownership of LibreOffice for the time being, at least to keep the lights on. Co-maintainers, as always, welcome. That package of LibreOffice is kind of the smallest part of the LibreOffice collection, because you also have to worry about all of these packages as well. Yeah, LibreOffice certainly takes a while to compile, but this list is pretty long as well. Maybe some of these aren't actually necessary. Maybe you can drop some of them and not lose any functionality that is absolutely required. But you can't really go around removing dependencies completely blindly. You need a deep understanding of the project to know what is actually safe to remove. Now, a few others did also raise their hands saying, hey, I would like to get involved as well. One user even suggesting, hey, how about we set up a LibreOffice SIG to coordinate community efforts in LO packaging, LO being LibreOffice. Now, a SIG is a special interest group. Basically, it's just a group of people that come together to talk about how something should be done. Because it's not just as simple as having the package being there. That's a lot of effort but it can be done relatively easily. It's going to take a while to compile, and every time there's an update, you have to recompile, and, but that's, that's fine. You can do that. The issue is backporting patches, fixing issues with non-x86 architectures, making sure you're actually keeping up to date on CVEs, getting involved in the mailing list for LibreOffice so you know what things actually need to be involved. It's kind of a full-time job maintaining a package this large. It is very easy to say, I am going to maintain it, and yes, it can be done, there are bigger projects maintained by less people. The bigger question though, is where is it going to be in 6 months in a year? Maybe you get a couple of releases out there, and it seems like it's going well, and then someone gets bored, someone gets sick, someone leaves the FOSS space, someone gets busy with their job, and all of a sudden, when you had 5 maintainers, you're now down to 4, 3, 2, and maybe 1 or 0. I'm not saying don't do it. If you want to go and do it, and that's how you want to spend your time, go ahead and do so. But don't take on the challenge lightly. Another Red Hat employee chimed in on the matter of this new maintainer. I appreciate and am empathetic to all those carrying the burden of this and the thousands of other RPM packages. As a user of Fedora plus RPM Fusion plus Cinnamon Desktops as my daily laptop driver since 2011, I love Fedora and am a heavy user of flat packs, so thank you all. That said, I'll point out that I've heard of at least four enterprise customers who use LibreOffice as a headless file conversion utility. I've seen it used in customer-facing production workflows, such as a financial user support website to handle file uploads provided by end users, as well as medical health record systems used by hospitals and doctors. I am not asking for a change in strategy. I understand our resource challenges. I only want to share this perspective. Packaging the RPMs in EPL could alleviate the pain for those customers in the REL 10 timeframe, as well as a container image may be built from the RPMs pulled from EPL. Hope this is helpful, and again, thank you. So it's not like everybody is in complete agreement that the LibreOffice RPM should be dropped. There are some people that recognize that there are some customers out there that do rely on this software being in its RPM format. For the desktop users, I don't really see a complaint about using the flat pack though. If you didn't check out those comments from earlier, this Reddit thread is full of people basically saying, oh no, LibreOffice is dead now. I'm gonna move to Office 365, Google Docs, WPS Office, Only Office, and things like that. As if LibreOffice is just suddenly no longer going to work on RHEL or Fedora. It's not going away. Like, LibreOffice still very much exists, and there's a ton of other ways you can install it. It's just the official RPM maintained by Red Hat 
that is going away. And at least in the short term, it seems like people are going to try to maintain it. Now, the announcement does make mention of the LibreOffice flat pack. This is probably the way that most people are going to use LibreOffice going forward. The flat pack on FlatHub. But they also make mention of the Fedora LibreOffice flat pack. This is a different flat pack from the one on FlatHub. This is a flat pack built from the Fedora RPM. And considering the Fedora RPM for LibreOffice is going away, I would imagine that flat pack is probably going away as well. Now, from my understanding, there should be no issue with Fedora shipping the FlatHub LibreOffice on their distro just by default. The only issue is their internal policies about what they're allowed to ship because, you know, weird Fedora legal stuff with FlatHub. They could easily change that if they very well wanted to, but it's a matter to be seen about what they're going to do. If they don't change it, when you install your Fedora system, just, you know, enable FlatHub, download the LibreOffice package, and you're basically good to go then. Maybe there's a possibility that the Fedora team will help out with the maintenance. Considering that this has been made public through the Fedora mailing list, there was probably some internal discussion that already happened that made them decide not to do that. So while there was certainly like a possibility of it, I wouldn't hold out hope that that's really what's going to happen. Now, with LibreOffice, I'm really surprised that they don't discourage the use and discourage the packaging of their project just at the distro level. Like a project like Bottles does, for example. Bottles, the way you install it is as a flat pack, and they do not recommend, they actively discourage distros actually packaging bottles because bottles is a really finicky application with its dependencies. You wanna make sure that dependencies line up exactly where they should be. And really the only productive way to do that is doing it through the use of a flat pack. And the fun thing about bottles is if you're not using the flat pack, they just straight up ignore your bug reports. Like flat pack is the way you install this. If you're gonna use an Arch package, you're gonna use a Debian package or any other package, we don't care. That's your problem. That's your distro's problem. Your distro decided to package it separately from the way you're supposed to install it. They can fix it themselves. And does that sound harsh and different from the way that we've always handled things on Linux? Absolutely. But when you only have a certain amount of resources, you have to focus those resources in the best way they can be possibly used. And one of the best ways to really simplify things is only have one official distribution channel. And in the case of Flatpak, it's not like having a deb or having an RPM. A Flatpak is gonna work on any distro. As the internet does, I've been seeing this blow up as a massive drama. And I don't really understand why. If resources being spent on LibreOffice could be better spent working on things like Wayland HDR and color sensitive work and things like that, I think that is a much, much better use of the time. I don't really see a need for every single distro to repackage every single application. We're getting to a point now where we're really starting to see distro independent packaging, that being in the form of Flatpak and I guess, I guess Snap as well, if you know, you like what Canonical is doing with that side as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you like the video? Do you not like the video? Do you like flat packs? Do you think LibreOffice should be packaged on every single distro and containerized solutions are really dumb? I would like to know. There are certainly issues with LibreOffice as a flat pack, but those are issues with LibreOffice, not with flat packs inherently. Let me know your thoughts though. So if you like the video, go like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scribe Sally Berape linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... RIP RPM.